Today I'm gonna talk to you about how I draw my heads, uh, or at least the base of the head, because every head is kind of different, and you know you have to do some changes when you have to do it like a big head or a small head, or you know a female head or a male head. Uh, but I'm gonna show you the simple basis of uh, how I do my uh, heads. So. As you remember before, I talked to you about uh, doing uh, your drawings in shapes, circles, squares, triangles and all that. And that's still gonna work today because we're gonna start with a circle. And this is gonna be uh, a profile, uh, a head in profile, so he's gonna be looking uh, this way, he or she. Uh, we're gonna do a circle uh, around here. We're gonna do what's gonna be the ear, uh, and from here we're gonna go down. From here we're gonna go down a little bit. So we have this long here, and this to about under the circle, and we're gonna do like this. So now we have the front of the face up to the ear, and you can change uh, the size of the ear if you're not happy with the size of it uh, also remember uh, you can also erase later on the lines so up here we're gonna do a little bit pushing out of the circle because the back head is always a little bit bigger and around here the neck is gonna come the back neck and from here we're gonna do the front of the neck and this also if you want to do like a big hulk you do a bigger neck and bigger here then you get the very very large neck as you can see here uh, but that's not what I want right now so we're gonna remove this and you get the base of the head as you can see uh, the eyes are gonna come right around here where the ears top is and from there you can do the changes of uh, the face, put the nose, depending on what kind of nose you want to do. You can round up, you know, smoothen this out a little bit, making a little bit more softer. And you have yourself a face. Um, so that's the profile version. Uh, we're going to put it like there. And uh, we're going to do the front now. So it's going to be right front, center. Uh, gonna do a circle once again uh, always uh, I always do my head with a circle uh, from here we're gonna go straight down so remember kind of like do, 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 somewhere on this and uh, this can change as well depending on if you want a short head or a you know stretched out long face uh, but pretty much we're gonna do lines and a chubby uh, triangle at the bottom here we're gonna have the uh, nose and uh, mouth center and uh, somewhere around here from the start of the lines that's where you're gonna put the ears and I like to put my ears a little bit more you know out sometimes I even go crazy out and uh, once again remember you can always erase some of the lines uh, like that and then you get the face so somewhere around here because remember the head is round so we get a round kind of line here that's where the eyes are gonna be somewhere around here is the nose and somewhere around here is the mouth uh, when it comes to the neck if you want the same kind of small neck here I would do something like this uh, you can always, you know, round this. You make this a little bit more rounder. Uh, remember, it's always just it's just a sketch, so you can always edit and re you know remove stuff, make it smaller or bigger, however you want it to be. So now we have the front. Uh, what we're gonna do now is gonna be uh, three quarters. So it's not gonna be a profile and it's not gonna be in front. It's gonna be somewhere in between a little bit more towards the profile, but not completely. Uh, and let's see, I'm gonna move this a little bit more like there so we can get uh, 
So we're gonna do the circle once again. Remember, it doesn't have to be the perfect circle. It can be, you know, just sketchy, not per perfectly round. Just what you feel comfortable with. Uh, so we're gonna do like we did with this almost. Uh, we're gonna go down like this, uh, but we're gonna move the air to the side here. Uh, also, depending on how big you want it, but you know, uh, the ear is going to be somewhere around here. Uh, we're going to do a this line, the uh, the cheek, and we're going to go a little bit down, kind of like you know, still going this way, and we're going to go in. Now here you can always change and turn it a little bit in, so you get the cheek right there, or you can leave it and you know make a. Uh, like this if you want to. It's all depending on how your style is and how you want to do it. Okay, uh, but for this I'm gonna do it like this. Uh, so we're gonna remove some lines here. Once again, I'm gonna push a little bit with the back of the head because remember a skull is way more back than you think. And as you can see we have the neck uh, starting around where the earlobe is. So somewhere around here, and that's where the neck is gonna start. Uh, since we're in three quarters now, uh, as you can see, the uh, the throat is gonna be somewhere around here. So we can go and do a little bit something like that, and put the neck there. Once again, the eyes are gonna be somewhere around here, but now it's three quarters. What does that mean? Well the line for the uh, eyes and nose are gonna be somewhere around this line because now we're not in front like this and we're not in profile so we're gonna be a little bit to the side and it's gonna be the eyes are gonna be somewhere around here uh, the nose is gonna be a little bit more to the side uh, so you're gonna get that and the mouth is gonna be somewhere around there Remember, this is just the base of the head. Then you can, you know, put the eyes. Uh, if you do my kind of eyes, which are more like big eyes, and put the eyebrows and stuff like that. Maybe perhaps, you know, fix some of the mouth to make it a little bit more uh, movable. And remember, it's just a sketch. For this this is just to get you started on how to do the head shapes and uh, this isn't you know the finished head this isn't even close uh, and when I draw heads uh, nowadays I don't go through all this process I just do it like well kind of like this if I go I just do you know a head I'm not even doing it uh, kind of you know perfect or anything like that I'm just drawing I'm just keeping it very loose you see I don't even do the ears before I do the eyes and then I can go in just you know clean it up a little bit so I can see more easily and uh, well so you can see more <laughs> easily um, because that's also a thing you're gonna be doing a lot of you know uh, grungy sketches and stuff like that and uh, it's not always gonna be <laughs> readable for, for other people, but as long as you know what it is you're doing. And if you get lost, then you perhaps may need to do some, you know, cleaning up uh, so you can see yourself what it is you're doing. Uh, and as you can see, here we have a simple head for me. Uh, and I like to do the neck just going right down and then do the shoulders like that. Uh, what I'm also going to speak about is the hairline because this is also important to do uh, and keep close uh, attention to is where is the hair and how is it shaped. Uh, usually it's like this little area. This everybody has it. If everyone was shaving their heads and you know grew a little bit of hair that's where you would have the hair but there are some who have it you know, lower on the forehead, higher on the forehead, but it's always good to know where you have your hairline. So you can plan uh, where is the hair gonna fall 
which because it depends on which hairstyle you use and stuff like that. And I always like to do a little bit of shadow underneath the chin because the head, uh, if the sun or any light shadow and stuff like that, it's always going to be a little bit of shadow uh, underneath the chin. And I think it pops, it makes it more pop out and it makes it more uh, three dimensional. It makes it look good. So if, for instance, if I have like a light source coming uh, from there, I can push it a little bit more uh, on the side here. So you get like that. And you have the hairline somewhere around here. Uh, and then from there you can know, you know, go and do, oh, okay, so the hair is gonna be like there. Okay, so we can do kind of like hair that's going out from it. And then we can, you know, change because I know where the shape of the head is. I can now erase a little bit of it and get a head like that. Maybe erase some of the lines, put some in, you know, tweak some stuff and you have a character with hair and all that. Uh, but like I said, and uh, this is the base of the head. So just learn how the shapes work. Uh, try to do it even you know from above or from below. Uh, the easiest thing is to remember that you know the head from side is pretty much a shape like this. Okay, so if we were gonna do perhaps like a skeleton, uh, you would have pretty much uh, the teeth like this, and the skull would go pretty much something like this. So uh, just remember that the skull would be something like, okay, not exactly like this, but you know, just to get the point across. And then you would have the neck which goes here which would be you know the uh, skeleton over here as you can see uh, and then continue on down the body and everything like that uh, so remember that it's just trying to find the shape it doesn't have to always be realistic it can always change and stuff like that but you know find your own style this is just how I do it uh, this is the profile uh, forward we can call this uh, and uh, three quarters uh, I think it's called that in English um, but as you can see uh, just try and find your own style trying to find I mean the skull base isn't that much different from uh, women, uh, male and female, if you want to do that, it's pretty much the same. Uh, if we do a female head, it's pretty much the same. I usually do it a little bit more smoother, uh, you know, a little bit more rounder. Uh, guys, I try to keep a little bit more boxy and square. Uh, girls, I try to find uh, a little bit softer, a little bit rounder shapes. Uh, if you want to do like a big bad guy, uh, you can even change the instead of circle you can do perhaps like a uh, chubby uh, square and do like this and perhaps round it up a little bit like that put the ears and you know do let's see we're gonna do a little bit of here hair over here and then have perhaps maybe him angry and as you can see, I'm going to erase some lines here. Uh, but as you can see, we're getting a angry person here. Like that. And that's because the shape allows us to do. We can even do a little bit like that to get, you know, shapes. 
So you can have uh, pretty much uh, different shapes to determine the head shape, depending on how you know unrealistic you want to go with it, or if you want to go like you know super realistic. But always imagine uh, shapes uh, when you do the head; it's always easier. Uh, you can do some of the guidelines as well and stuff like that. Uh, I usually don't because I feel that they uh, kind of dis disrupt the the flow of drawing uh, I just want to just like I did with this I just want to keep it you know loose just go with the flow and change stuff if I need to but just keep on you know sketching and just keeping the flow going because sometimes you can you know get stuck on uh, details and you know guidelines and is it perfectly correct and everything like that remember faces are not perfect faces are not you know equally on each side and they are not you know uh, always look the same because that's the problem if you do the simple you know uh, rules and guidelines and all that it can become very stereotypically generic faces so if you want you know uh, characters with personality try to stretch them out try to make them uh, thicker make them kind of different and all that because that's gonna help the uh, the viewer to see that oh okay that's that guy and that's this guy instead of you know having the same faces but you know different hair or different clothes or you know stuff like that um, but this is the simplest way to do a head uh, we're gonna do faces and stuff like that later on. I'm gonna go through, you know, the hair, the eyes, and everything like that. But this is how I make, uh, you know, simple heads. This is how I draw my heads. Uh, it may not be the correct way. Maybe it's not the way you need to do it. But uh, this is how I do it, uh, and I find it very simple. It makes uh, takes less time, and it's kind of fun to do. So I hope you enjoyed this video, I will see you next time on tutorials, bye!